Hi, I'm Dave from Sailing Laguna. In our last video, we travelled down the Florida coast from St. Augustine to Ponce Inlet and made it just in time to witness a rocket launch. We also made it just in time for the Christmas flotilla with all the lights on the boats in New Smyrna or Simra or however you pronounce it and also the Cannell Street Cruise in New Smyrna where we found a bunch of old cars on display. After being at Ponce Inlet for a few days, we of course ran out of water and had to get some fresh water from the local boat ramp. Exclamation point. I think I see, oh, I is. see it. There it is. We start part two of our Ponce Inlet video with another rocket launch. This time it was during the day and it only increased our desire to get closer. But as this one is the second last for the year, I don't really like our chances. There it goes. Oh, it's a long way away still. Uh, now, I guess many of our Australian viewers probably don't know this, but um, the whole east coast of America actually has what we call the ICW, the Intercoastal Waterway. So you can actually travel up and down the pretty much the whole coast, the whole east coast, without actually having to go offshore on this ICW. Um, the only problem is, is that the bridges that they have have a, um, I think it's a, a minimum of maximum, maximum, no minimum, a minimum of 65 feet clearance, and we're a 67 foot boat, so we could possibly go under the bridges at low tide, but um, for the whole part, we have to go out to sea to go up and down the coast. But if you ever did dream of doing a, you know, well not so, but a cruising holiday, um, then you could basically just cruise the whole inland. ICW stretch and not actually have to go offshore. We know it is generally you might already know, but if you don't, let's have a look in the comments. Is this generator? Yes it is. Okay. Okay, so as you can hear, the generator, as you can hear, the generator keeps on maxing out on voltage. Yeah, yeah. So it's a 2000 watt generator. And so at the moment we're thinking that the Stirling power inverter is asking for two and a half thousand watts. Let's have a brief look here. As you can probably says, tell, we are having problems charging our batteries. This is one of our biggest headaches and stresses about living aboard, and it is a significant issue in our day-to-day -day lives. We are a few weeks past this video now, and we're still having troubles try and trying to solve this issue. It will probably require a standalone video if I ever actually figure out what's wrong with the charging slash power system. Now, you're probably asking, why have we put the tender down if we're motoring somewhere? Well, actually, the motor's not in gear. The motor's basically just charging the batteries at the moment. Sam's about to go out in the tender, and we are sitting stationary in Ponce de Leon Inlet. That is just the tide that's running in at the moment. It's pretty impressive, hey? So, I am with a very sharp blade getting off the old sign, ready to rename and put our new decals on. What did we go and see at St. Augustine? So here's a quick look at our homeschooling. We aren't following a program at this stage, and so I'm just basing the lessons on our experiences. In this example, first we have toured the Castillo de San Marcos, which you of course will recall from a previous video, uh, which is where I got the booklet for the kids. The previous day to this footage, we read the booklet and learnt about the parts of the fort, and now I'm posing a few questions to help them recall the information. In another week, in another few days or a week's time, we should quickly revisit this lesson to help consolidate the information in the kids' long-term memory. Well, if I haven't thrown the booklet out by then. So, whereabouts was the shop furnace located? Uh, somewhere outside, at the, some people think that's at the front, at the facing the, straight ahead of the water. Oh, so facing the water, out near the water. And what was the shop furnace used for? Mm -hmm. To heat up cannonballs to suit wooden 
sip so they can burn down. Oh, really? So the cannonball not only hits the ship, but then it sets the ship alight with fire. Marine Science Centre. In non-COVID times, no, Ponce Inlet has a marine look. science no. centre and a bird sanctuary that might be of interest for some people. Fortunately, the ice cream shop is still open, as well, of course, as the park, uh, and the kids enjoy yeah. their time playing on all the park no, activities. No. Hello. There's one squirrel out in the open and there's a bird trying to attack it right behind it. Oh. And then there's one behind the tree saying, come here. There also, of course, is the lighthouse. Ponce de Leon Lighthouse actually has a number of displays around its grounds. And so it's just not climbing the lighthouse. And so you'll need to allocate a few hours to do this one. Is it very high? Yes, it's the uh, highest one in Florida. Oh, really? Oh, really? Yes, All right. it is. If you were a lighthouse kid, these would be your school... Supplies. One of the displays is actually on the Daytona beach races and it was interesting to see how much of real life was actually embedded in the Cars movies, of course Cooper's favourite movies, um, because there was several photos I'm sure that have been taken directly from um, real life to, and actually embedded in the movie. Which one would be Doc Hudson? You want to know, that, that one there. Why is that? In the movie, Doc Hudson always takes took the inside line on the turns. On the turns, did he? Yes. No, on the north. Well, why couldn't Doc Hurts Hudson be here? Because he didn't get first there. He got first like at the end of the turn. Oh, did he? He came around the inside, did he? Yeah. Oh dear, Cooper. Do you think that's how tall pirates were back in the day? No. I know, this is the most favourite place because we can watch our dinghy. Well, that pretty much just wraps up our bonus episode on Ponce Inlet. Join us next video as we do an overnight sail down to Fort Pierce. If you like what you've seen, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. See ya.